Dance on Score Radio 5365 with a young lady that I think a couple of months ago I said was on her way to becoming the greatest of all time, and we're one step closer, Miss Elena. So let's talk, young lady. How's it feel to uh, have that ticket punch today? feels amazing. I've been working so hard, you know, this past especially one year uh, with Professor John and the team, the whole team, Gordon, Gary, everyone uh, has been helping me so much improve on the ADCC rule set, especially on the wrestling part, you know, and uh, it feels amazing to have been able to uh, to win and qualify for Worlds. All right, so I'm going to ask you a question because I talked to mom before I talked to you, and uh, I want to know what feels better or what's more, I guess, What's the bigger accomplishment, getting the win and the rematch or being able to come back and fix the little mistakes that you had on East Coast? Um, you know, it doesn't really matter to me whether, you know, I won or lost. It's just like a normal part of the, you know, game and everything. But I'd say, you know, fixing the mistakes, uh, you know, improving my wrestling, working hard on that, you know, every day, both in the morning and the afternoon session, you know, drilling that, uh, practicing in live training and being able to execute in competition uh, it, that feels amazing it's like the biggest accomplishment ever it tells me that I'm improving you know uh, that uh, everything uh, is like uh, improving and getting better so I'd say like that is like the best thing you know best feeling all right mom was right mom was right she said I said it's got to feel so good to get the rematch and she's like I think Helena's gonna tell you that she's more happy to fix the mistakes that got made yeah. on East Coast trial versus uh, getting the win so yeah. all right mom's right again moms are always right why is they this are, even yeah. your mom's always right gosh dang it um so i guess my question for you is where do you go from here helena obviously between now and august you've got some time to go home and really work on the wrestling is that going to be the main focus for you yeah i mean of course improving all aspects of my game but i'd say that wrestling was like the thing that was like uh that i needed to improve the most and i still need to improve a lot uh compared to my uh, ground game but definitely uh looking to improve everything you know for august so that it could be like top level and then you know compete and with the best and hopefully win worlds <laughs> All right, so that being said, I have to ask, you came in here with a huge target on your back today. I think obviously taking second place on East Coast Trials. I don't want to say you have haters, but I do think you have haters, right? So I think the haters were like, see, she wasn't that good. She didn't win. She's supposed to be the best. Do you feel that there was a bigger target on you here coming into West Coast Trials? And then do you think that that target now grows going into Worlds? I mean, you know, every person, I guess, that is, you know, famous, I'd say, or, you know, winning all the time, but does have haters or people who are jealous, you know, but I don't really pay attention to them that much. Just like, uh, you know, people who just don't have anything else to do. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> She's like, you guys can hate. I'm winning. <laughs> of course yeah. you're going to hate. Well, I think that's important, especially at your age, because that's the one thing that I hate is that like you guys as youth athletes have to deal with adults that aren't on the mats that have opinions. You know, it's yeah. kind of like, uh, I mean, until you're out here doing it, your opinion really doesn't matter. But for you, I think the one beautiful part is is you have a lot of fans. You have a yeah. lot of young ladies and even young boys and even grown men that are huge <laughs> fans and, and love what you're doing, you know, and I yeah. think that's the one thing that's always going to push over all the hate and all the, all the, yeah. the, the, the I guess, envy. Uh, we'll, we'll call it that. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what it is. Maybe it's not envy. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's not hate. Maybe it's envy, right? Yeah. They, they want to be Helena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I, I like to focus more on, you know, the people who support me and, you know, it, it's a, such a humbling experience to have so many girls and women and even men, you know, coming up <laughs> to me, like to say hi and, you know, say that I motivate them or, or things like that. So definitely, you know, I'm looking to motivate more girls to join the sport and more people overall. Heck yeah. So. All right. So before I let you go, you know, I have to let you have an opportunity to tell everyone where to follow you on Instagram, but also plug those sponsors and a message to any of the fans out there that you want to give. Yeah. So uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Helena Jiu-Jitsu Girl. Um, yeah. You can uh, check out my instructionals at BJJ fanatics i have both gi and no gi instructionals and then yeah all my sponsors future kimonos the pomino bands penguin fingers prosies barefoot shoes <laughs> a lot of them <laughs> you know for all the support um and yeah definitely uh looking forward to my upcoming competitions i have a couple super fight announcements also so yeah can't wait <laughs> all right guys the outfit was fire the performance was fire and it's only gonna get better come worlds miss elena mr anton fist of cuff radio 5365 we're out